Welcome to the Sensit Installation Guide. Sensit is designed to give you the visibility you need to manage your equipment and reduce downtime. This guide will walk you through the installation process so you can get Sensit working for you. Sensit combines the power of telematics and artificial intelligence to protect your engine, increase visibility, and reduce downtime. Supported by 75 years of filtration experience, Sensit is here to save you time and money. In addition to the Sensit device, we've included some tips you may find helpful during installation. Sensit has built-in cellular connectivity, so you don't have to worry about SIM cards or cellular providers. All you have to do is install, onboard, and go. A complete set of instructions and the included QR code makes the process easy. The included accessories are the most likely items needed during installation. These items provide you with the flexibility to select the optimal mounting location for Sensit. Based on your installation preferences or equipment, additional items may be required. Sensit requires power, so tapping into the equipment's fuse panel is a critical part of the installation. Additional wire and an inline blade fuse adapter enables you to connect Sensit to the vehicle's power supply. Sensit also requires a 5 amp fuse between the device and the power source. Depending on the distance from the selected mounting location to the fuse panel, additional cable ties and butt splice connectors may be required. Before we get started, here are a few things to keep in mind about Sensit. On the front of the device, just below the Sensit name, are two LEDs. These lights display the device's status. Below that is the ambient pressure sensor. On the bottom of the device is the mounting adapter where the remote mount fittings connect Sensit to the air filter housing. On the back of Sensit is the power cable that brings power from the vehicle's fuse panel. Lastly, Sensit's weatherproof casing is engineered to protect the device in even the most extreme conditions. Remember, Sensit is rugged, durable, and uniquely designed for your environment. Included in the mounting hardware are four fittings that are used to connect the Sensit device with the service port on the air filter housing. These fittings are designed to connect in a very specific way. Never connect the 90-degree push-to-connects directly to either the air filter housing or Sensit. The included adapters must be used to connect these elbows to the air filter housing or the Sensit device. The service part on most air filter housings is a male M10X1. To connect tubing to the air filter housing, use the 90 degree push to connect female 1 8 inch NPT with the 1 8 inch NPT male to female M10X1 adapter. To connect the tubing to the Sensit, use the 90 degree push to connect male 1 8 inch NPT with wedge thread with the female 1 8 inch NPT to M10X1 male connector. If you start by connecting the female 1 8 inch NPT to M10X1 male adapter to the Sensit unit and then add the male wedge threaded 1 8 inch NPT 90 degree push to connect next, you can't go wrong. While Sensit provides the best air filter monitoring experience in the industry, we realize you probably have an analog or digital alarm already connected to the housing. However, please don't remove an electronic original equipment sensor as it may result in equipment fault codes. Just install Sensit in tandem with this existing sensor. Mounting location is also another critical component to getting the data you need anytime, anywhere. When mounting Sensit, make sure you have good sight lines to the horizon for reliable GPS and cellular connectivity. Without connectivity, Sensit cannot keep you informed about the status of your equipment. By selecting a mounting location that is not encased in metal, Sensit will have better access to GPS and cellular signals. Stronger signals mean more communication and better visibility to your equipment. Don't worry if your equipment is temporarily in an area with low cellular connectivity. Sensit is still working and collecting data. Once connectivity is restored, Sensit sends your data to the cloud and visibility to equipment status is renewed. If you have concerns about the mounting location and connectivity, don't worry, just mount Sensit externally. We build Sensit to thrive in the harshest conditions, 
so go ahead and mount it outside the engine compartment. For some equipment, especially gensets, an externally mounted Sensit might be the only viable option. Sensit can be mounted at almost any angle or orientation. We do recommend you avoid mounting Sensit with the ambient pressure sensor facing straight up. Sensit does not have an internal battery and requires connection to a power source. Since Sensit is continuously searching for connectivity and working 24-7 when powered, do not wire directly to the battery because it will draw power and deplete the battery. Since it requires 12 or 24 volt power and needs a 5 amp fuse between the device and the power source. This is where a fuse tap or add a circuit adapter may be the best option for connecting into the equipment fuse box. The orientation of the add a fuse or add a circuit must be verified during installation. Insert a 5 amp fuse into slot 2 of the ADA fuse while leaving slot 1 open. Plug the ADA fuse into the fuse panel and use the circuit tester or multimeter to confirm that power is going to the wire from the ADA fuse. If testing shows that no power is flowing to the wire on the ADA fuse, then flip the orientation in the fuse panel and test again. Once you confirm power to the wire, then the correct orientation has been established. The LED lights confirm the status of the Sensit device. If both LED lights are off, Sensit has no power or cellular connectivity. A solid green light on the left indicates the device has power. A solid blue light on the right indicates that the device has cellular connectivity. A blue flashing light is an indication that the device is searching for cellular connectivity. When you first install and power on Sensit, connectivity may take several minutes. Once the blue light stops flashing and is solid, wait at least seven minutes before cutting power to the equipment. Sensit needs this time to complete the initial registration process and download and install updates. Once Sensit is installed, the next step is to onboard the device. Onboarding is the process where the Sensit device is associated with equipment and accounts are set up and authorized to monitor the device. The first person to step through the onboarding process is what we call an owner. An owner is the person designated to manage subscriptions and permissions for that device. To onboard the device, the owner installs the app on their mobile device, sets up an account, then adds a device by scanning the QR code. During the setup process, the owner provides basic account and equipment information. At any point in time, the device's owner can be transferred to the appropriate person via Sensit's web portal. The terminal pressure for the air filtration system is a required field for onboarding. The terminal pressure is usually found on an existing gauge or sensor installed on the air filter housing. This value must be accurate in order for the filter status and predicting time to maintenance, so make sure this value is correct. Now let's see how installations are being done. Let's start with a few examples. Here, a standard remote-mounted Sensit is connected in tandem with an original equipment manufacturer's digital alarm. Notice the T connector that's attached to the air filter housing and allows Sensit and the existing sensor to access the clean side of the air filter housing. In this configuration, Sensit is connected in tandem with an analog filter monitor. Now this equipment owner will know the air filter status in real time without having to stop the vehicle and perform a visual inspection. Let Sensit do the dirty work for you. Now you don't have to physically access and put hands on a monitor to check the status. Sensit puts information at your fingertips anytime anywhere. Now that we've seen a few installation examples, let's review an installation from start to finish. Since this engine compartment is covered by a fiberglass hood, connectivity should not be an issue. The air filter housing on this combination roller has two M10 service ports, so no need to use a T-fitting. Just install Sensit on the open port. Attach the female M10X1 and push to connect elbow fitting to the M10 service port on the air filter housing. Once installed, it's ready for the tubing that connects the clean side of the air filter housing to Sensit. 
The terminal pressure is required for Sensit to correctly predict the air filter status. The most convenient way to confirm the terminal pressuring is to get it from the existing filter monitor. Make sure this value gets entered during the onboarding process. Installation location is key to getting good GPS and cellular connectivity. In this example, an existing bolt was removed and Sensit was installed using the supplied P-clip mounting bracket in an elevated position within the engine compartment. The male M10X1 adapter with 90 degree elbow is then connected to Sensit and tubing is inserted into the push to connect and run to the push connect attached to the air filter housing. The power wire from the Sensit unit is run to a location within the engine compartment where it's convenient to connect it to a source wire that connects back to the fuse block. The red power wire from Sensit is connected to the power wire running to the fuse block by a butt splice connector and sealed with a heat gun. The black ground wire is attached to a metal brace. The power wire to the Sensit unit is connected with a 5 amp fuse by an inline blade fuse wire tap adapter. It is very important to connect Sensit to a fused switched ignition power source. Add a fuse adapters are an effective way to connect a new device into a fuse panel that does not have any open locations. It allows the new device to be installed with a fuse and keep the original fuse in place for the existing connection. Once power is connected and tubing is in place, the equipment can be keyed on to power up your Sensit. The status lights will confirm the unit has power and connectivity. Solid green indicates power, solid blue confirms connectivity. Once both the green and blue lights are solid, wait 7 to 10 minutes for Sensit to initialize and download any required updates. After this time, the installation is complete. Now it's time to scan the QR code and onboard the device. Onboarding will add each piece of equipment to your Sensit app and web portal. Let's review. A successful install is all about location. Avoid full metal enclosures and extreme heat sources. Position the device for good sight lines to the horizon and avoid orientations where the ambient pressure port is facing straight up. Since it works in tandem with existing sensors, so don't remove the original equipment sensor during installation. Since it does not have internal power and must be wired to a fused 5 amp switched ignition source. Once installed and powered on, confirm that both the green and blue status lights are solid and then wait for 7 to 10 minutes. During this time, Sensit will initialize and download updates. After installation, the owner will need the QR code to onboard the device, as well as the terminal pressure for the air filtration system. The terminal pressure is usually found on the existing sensors attached to the air filter housing. Just after onboarding, the data cycle is slower as system sync and back-end updates occur. Remember, Sensit is designed to learn and adapt to your unique piece of equipment with machine learning algorithms. So be patient during the initial learning process. Once Sensit familiarizes itself with the operating parameters of your equipment and its environment, it will make condition-based maintenance recommendations and help you plan more effectively. Check out the FAQs to get additional questions answered. For customer support or general questions, please contact your local distributor or sales representative or send us an email at support at sensit.io. We can also be reached at 1-800-949-6698. Thank you for your purchase. Sensit. Be smart.